Hello, Katja here for Fina Bear. Today I have like a wooden sticks on my table. I picked them out here this fall and I'm thinking to have that for my background. Here I have some 3D gloss gel and I will use the 3D gloss gel to glue everything together. It works perfect. And I start with my cardboard pieces. I glue them together to make it the wooden sticks to have a base. You can glue them on a canvas or only one, but I didn't have so many wooden uh, cardboard pieces. So now I try to organize my wooden sticks. Um, I want them to come like mixed pieces. So I'm trying them out before I'm going so I have the right amount. Adding pretty much uh, 3D glass gel with the spatula and organize my wooden sticks. I want to, to make like uh, instead uh, of a canvas, this will be my background. I really love wooden pieces from the nature when I'm create and this could be perfect. Before everything is dry, I have some metallic embellishment. I want to create something on the top on and on the downside. So before everything is stick, I'm adding some metallics and even more paste when I'm adding. So you see me adding a little bit more and I want to the metallics to be like under the wooden sticks. So I'm sticking them and I love when you having glue. It's so easy to change and move them around to have them exactly on the place where you want them to have. I hope you people are okay. Let me know what you think about this video and this project. I would be so happy to hear from you. And please give the video a thumbs up and um, share it with your friends. It helps the video. Yeah, things need to grow and I have like some cardboard piece showing. So I'm thinking to add smaller piece to hide the cardboard and still working with the 3D gloss gel. Now I have some gaps. Yes, I have the gaps and I will try to like, I need the wooden sticks so it will stay and be good. So you see me, I have added even more uh, 3D uh, gloss gel and to glue the space between the sticks. And now it's time for the mini art stones because I want to have some fine texture. So I'm sprinkling it over the paste and I will leave this to dry. My project was staying, I was heated a bit and then I was staying. Uh, leave them for a couple of hours to dry really well. I have the mold Vintage Portrait by Fina Bear and uh, I pick some smaller pieces and also it's, it's a lot of faces on that mold and I have made them with the resin. Now it's time when you have do them it and if you want to have a color you need to paint them with a uh, heavy gesso 
it works as a primer. I have some textile fabric pieces. I want to add like a texture because it, this will be like a little bit of winter project. Not necessarily a Christmas project, but you can say it's like a wintry fairy lady and on the face and everything is glue with the heavy jelly and adding some pieces here and there to make them stay and even a metallic wings in the background and more metallic and even more fabric and I tear the fabric lace it's an old curtain so it works perfectly and moving around so I get ha happy and not not trying to show the paste anymore. I have also these rusty leaves. I love the leaves so I try to bake like a composition around my wintry lady and uh, gluing them in the gaps so everything need to be dry up now uh, it's uh, very important before I will add color yeah and now it's time to paint and I'm adding like a coat and a um, little bit on the wooden pieces, but you will notice that I will change my mind. I also add a little bit of the pattern effect paste, the minty color, um, because I want a little bit more grungy and not so tealy the minty makes it like wintry look i here i have the titanium white of the liquid acrylic paint i want to add some white to my project to make it a little bit more whitish now it's time when the white is dry I will add a little bit of the burnt sienna on the wooden pieces to make it more like brownings and burnt effect. It's already wooden uh, stick have a gorgeous, gorgeous color, but this makes a, around my composition make it a little bit dark. And I really love that effect. It makes my, like more intense and focus on my focal point. And that was what interesting. I haven't add any primer on the wooden sticks or nothing. It works very fine. If you are unsecure, if what you will do try it out and do a test what's happened now when everything is dried i'm adding white heavy gesso and dry brushing my project to make it a little bit more wintry and whitey i i'm sure or be sure to not have too much uh, paint or gesso on your brush when you're doing the dry brushing uh, otherwise uh, it look a little bit too messy so i'm doing dry brushing and that is to make everything show much more better now i have some mica flakes and beads and soft gloss gel i will add a little bit like flaky shiny effect and I'm taking the soft gloss gel a little bit here and there 
and also picking with my brush the flakes and adding them at special places in and it will not show so well but it gives an extra effect with the beads and the flakes and yeah a little bit little bit of some um, glitter now i have the pebbles the diamond ones and i glue them and always when you have the soft cloth gel or something like that they dry translucent so here they are not translucent but they will end up that yeah i'm happy with my winter project so thank you for watching and have a nice day or evening bye bye